How's it going guys? Today I'm going to teach you a little bit about subtitles in DaVinci Resolve 18. Specifically gaming subtitles that you'd want to do for like a funny moments type of video. Or I mean literally anything. This can apply to absolutely any type of video. Um, if you want text on screen, subtitles, anything of that nature, this is how to do it. And it's something I actually have quite a bit of experience doing. I spent about, I don't even know how long, one maybe two years of my YouTube career. Um, doing funny moment type videos in Overwatch and Siege in a Valorant and I made subtitles and I'll show you quickly this video I made a long ass time ago. I'd be winning games like it's nothing. So this I'm is the type of subtitles idea. you can when, make. When, when teacups are on support, nobody dies except for <laughs> okay. the enemy. That's how fucking good I am. <laughs> Did you mess with right, me so yeah. Subtitles no. like this. You can even make it a bit more complicated than that. But just simple text popping up that has a color to it or something. How you can do that is it's un it's unfortunately a slow process and a tedious one because there's no actual way to do a good job of this within just DaVinci itself. You unfortunately need an external program and a thing I use is a program or it's actually a website. Uh, okay. A website known as Pixlr uh, E, I believe. Pixlr, it's an editor. It's basically the website equivalent of uh, Photoshop. So if you have Photoshop, if you use GIMP, or literally any photo editing software, that then you're going to want to do that. Obviously, you're going to want to make the resolution be the same resolution as your video. Let's say I want the subtitle to say, this is a subtitle. Uh, you generally want it to be a nice board font. The one I use is Hippo Leto. <laughs> then you just make it white. It's it's literally very simple. You make it white. Then you add an outline if you want an outline. Uh, I think I have a video dedicated to showing off this editing software. So if this is going too fast, then uh, my apologies. You want to put it somewhere in the bottom-ish. And you kind of want it to be big enough that you can read it easily. Um, so kind of this big, even though you can only get a few words in at a time. So let's say I said, um, how was your day? That's pretty much the maximum length you can get of a subtitle. You don't want it to go all the way to the end of the screen because that's unattractive to look at. And it kind of just feels cluttered. But, um, anyways, you want to make sure it's PNG and you want to save it. Um, whoops. What the hell did I just do? What the fuck? What the fuck did I do? I don't know. All right, just save it as PNG. Um, it, on this website, if you don't sign in, you can only do three a day. I just haven't signed in for some strange reason. Then you want to go back to DaVinci and right click in the media section. Import media. And then you literally just want to import the media, which is the subtitle. And then let's say, I mean, obviously I don't have actual audio in this clip of me saying anything. But just use your imagination. Um, you're going to want to line it up pretty much perfectly with where the beginning of the audio is to where the end of it. So let's say I said this is a subtitle and it took me this exact length to say that. You want it to be on screen that exact length. Otherwise, it's distracting and it looks unsynchronized and unprofessional. So this is a subtitle. What you can also do is you can add the zoom in transition to the beginning of it for like, I don't know, eight frames. And then it kind of makes it look like it, it pops in a bit. It's kind of stuttery, my timeline, so you kind of kind of can't see it very well. It kind of stutters, but whatever, besides the point. You can even just um, use keyframes to start it out at zero and then do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten frames later. You make it go one. And then you could go to the end and make it be zero and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make it be one. So this way it literally fades in and out from the center of the screen. Um, or you could just simply not do that. I find, like I said, like I showed you in my videos that I did before, I'll show you another one. It's not that important. Just get out my game. Yeah, my you should see it. It literally <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> So yeah, that's how you do it. Um, use your own creative liberties, of course. Um, yeah, like I said, sorry, there's not really a, a way to do it within DaVinci. Doing an entire 10 minute video like that does take about one to two hours long. So, you know, if you're not willing to put in the time, then you can half-ass it, I guess. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching. If this helped you, let me know. Stay awesome and peace out.